The border clash between Indian and Chinese soldiers in Ladakh broke the brittle quiet and also the sense of security for anxious Chinese nationals in India who fear a backlash with anti-Chinese sentiment spiraling in the country. With the high altitude violent face off in eastern Ladakh's Galwan Valley spurring hashtags such as boycott China and teach listen to China and leading to street protests the undercurrents of tension were evident wary of being identified some said they had been reassured by their friends but were still apprehensive for themselves and their families experts also feel the border clash is likely to have a significant negative impact on the economic and people to people ties there are scores of chinese in india working in various chinese firms and also those who are studying in universities like jnu about 3000 chinese people doing business or studying in big cities in india were stranded in india at the start of the covid-19 crisis and about half of them returned to china before the lockdown began on march 25 The Chinese embassy in New Delhi announced on May 25 that they will arrange for flights to take back students, tourists and business persons to five Chinese cities. A group of ex-army men gathered near the Chinese embassy to protest the killing of 20 Indian army personnel in Ladakh's Galwan Valley. And another group of around 10 protesters belonging to the Swadeshi Jagran Manch protested near the Teen Murti roundabout in central Delhi. The anti-China sentiment prevalent among the common public is also finding a reflection in government policy with sources saying the Department of Telecom is set to ask state-owned Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited not to use Chinese telecom gear in its 4G upgradation. Trade bodies like CAIT are also calling for a boycott of Chinese products and Chinese handset maker Oppo cancelled the live stream launch of its flagship 5G smartphone in the country amid protest. Monday night's clashes between the Chinese and Indian troops in Galwan Valley significantly escalated the already volatile border standoff between the two countries. The casualties on the Chinese side are not yet known. However, government sources citing an American intelligence report claimed the total number of soldiers killed and seriously wounded could be 35 a toi online report